lot of comments already, and we're live. And guys, I'm I'm just reading over uh, uh, comments and and things. Um, that's great. Uh, uh, of course, you know some folks like Laughing Pharaoh. I, I I totally on that. You know, being in kind of a weird headspace. It's been a long week for me too. Um, but sounds like Kid Fox has some really whole news. So uh, congrats and uh, uh, I'm and <laughs> Laughing Pharaoh. I'm, I'm I'm glad my news, you know or make you happy and and uh, uh, just when whenever you can. Um, uh, actually, I will have this month's video up next week. So I, I was editing everything last night. I've just got to go and tweak some sound. And Darren is here. Yay. Hi. <laughs> hey, everybody. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Kid Fox is just saying, um, oh, let me scroll back. Uh, uh, just not, uh, prayers for healthy embryos. Because she got a surgery and there was uh, 29 eggs, uh, 19 were fully mature, 18 were fertilized. So hopefully, you know, hope, hopefully you'll get one or two that, you know, did the job. I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want you to end up like, you know, octo mom kind of thing, you know, but but uh, uh, but hey, if one of them takes, that's that's what you're going for, right? Yeah. Uh, as long as your happiness is there, then that's what we ask for. Yeah. So, so yeah. And uh, and I have some things to be grateful for. And uh, and and I I have prayers too. And and Jory was just telling us, um, you know, prayers for uh, uh his his family, and and also for my my grandmother who's she's in the hospital right now. But uh, contrary to what people in my family were trying to make it sound like, um, she has a fighting chance at ninety one of you know, recovering and, and going into rehab. They're, they're giving her medicine for her thyroid right now because that was screwing everything up. But uh, and, and, uh -huh. yeah. And hopefully I, I didn't overwhelm her too much coming in with my two brothers. You know, it helped that I brought them in one at a time, but. Um, <laughs> yes. I, even I would contemplate cuddling with the Holy gang grenade if you brought them both at the same time. Yeah. My, my two brothers are kind of a rolling circus yes. when, when they're both together. So. <laughs> And grandma's doing better, and our mom's going home tomorrow. Yeah, well, she, well she, she's probably going to be kind of ornery when she gets home. I'm, I'm expecting irate phone calls For tomorrow. What? The TV's been turned back on, and Randy's expecting a package. I'm not oh, worried yeah. about well, the thing. Well, I don't know. I'm just, but but I guess we, we, we have a lot of things to, to be praying for. And, and I'm, I'm going to light our candle for Mahes. Because I saw in the group somebody was saying, "Hey, prayers for you know folks who might be uh, about to deal with snowstorms," because apparently there's another winter storm system coming through. Of course, down here where we are, um, you know, we typically don't get anything from that. But um, yeah, in in the uh, more northerly parts of the country, yeah, yeah. there's a lot going May on. May everyone be safe and prepared. Yeah. That's all I ask. Yeah. So, so let's go ahead and get started. We are honoring Neith, who uh, uh, has a, uh, the, in this time of year, it actually would have been on, on Wednesday. Um, she has a, a going forth at night, and this would have been about a, a four-hour uh, procession that would have been, you know, in the middle of the night, probably, you know, fairly quiet. It's not like you would have had a whole lot of people involved. Um, and so you can only imagine what kind of character that would have had. You know, did people stay up for it, or, you know, did they stay inside? You know, uh, but that was what was going on, and you also had to go have a going forth of Anubis. So. Is, it, is it possible that they could have, like, maybe been outside, lined the streets, and it been more of a silent vigil with like lamps? Uh, very, very possibly. As a matter of fact, uh, Herodotus, the Greek traveler, did describe uh, a a festival where everyone lit lamps, and. Um, he didn't give a, a date for it, so it could have been, especially if he was, depending on what part of the country he was in, it could have been something like that. So, okay, well, so, I'm yeah. glad to know that at least it was a educated guess and nothing yeah. else. Well, and, and you also have to keep in mind that you know what what we're doing now it, it takes on a little bit of a different character because it has to. You know, uh, we don't have uh, the the same um, civic involvement that they would have had. Right. You know, so uh, uh, it, it takes on a different character, but that's okay. The, the spirit is there. 
Right. That's that's what's important. So. And of course, down here, everybody's getting ready for Mardi Gras season. Oh, and and guys, we're we're gonna have to get together and uh, plan something because uh, a Friday in February is Darren's birthday. Uh -oh. So yeah, so we we all have to figure out what we're going to do since he's going to be kind enough to be here with us. You know, how are we going to uh, celebrate your birthday? Um. Lots and lots of cool water. <laughs> and um, super thanks would be good. Uh, <laughs> gift cards to uh, Amazon or Hobby Lobby would also be good. Hmm, well, Amazon, because remember, Hobby Lobby likes to like, you know, rip off Mesopotamian tablets. Okay, and, you no know, stuff Hobby like... Lobby, but Amazon would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, remember, Darren's the big Star Wars fan, so we have to figure out how to, how, how to, uh, you know, let him get get that fix. But we've we've got we've got a month to plan for this, guys. So you know, especially if we can make some of it a surprise. So You just have to be careful not to put your fingers on them because that will mute them instead of. Just letting them keep that resonance. Okay. Now, these are fresh waters, hopefully, not that cold. Although, I, I'm. There might be some folks hoping, you know, the the other way, you know. But these cool waters are upon my hands, and they purify me. This technique purifies me. Hail unto you, and not you. We come unto you without falsehood and without evil. Our purities upon our hands, our purities within our hearts. Cast out all evil that pertains to us. You Not in my first. face. Not in my face. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't mean to get your face. I was actually trying to aim that time and ended up getting your face. <laughs> Try not. Do or do not. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, Bo. <laughs> she emptied the rest of the water on me. So... <laughs> Then she did some super thanks for you. You received ablutions. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Love you all. Thank you. He got the pharaonic treatment. Dump it right over his head. That's yes, exactly actually, what I got. Well, well, yeah. Well, we'll we'll see because you know the baptism of Pharaoh. You know, when as part of the coronation, you know, another uh, rites that you know it was uh, uh had had water poured over him. I consider that to be quite the blessing then. Yeah. Just, just don't, don't flick water in my face, dude. I didn't mean to, honestly. <laughs> All right, and and hey, you got a super thanks. Thank you, sarcastic. That was happy early birthday to you. Thank you, sarcastic. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, if there's if there's a way to custom make stickers, then then uh, or, or gifts or something, then then I have some great ideas for that, and uh, you'll see. You know, sort of a shout out in in the next video, but uh, that'll be a technical thing to figure out. I'll ask a semi selfish question later. Oh, later? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll start with our little candle, and then we'll light our candle for Mahes and for Sekhmet. Come in peace, bright high of Horus. Come in peace. Receive the light. Receive the light. The eye of Horus shines like Ra in the twin horizons, and evil hides in fear of it. Receive the light. 
receive the light. The eye of Horus destroys the enemies of Ra and all of their abodes till none remain. Receive the light. Receive the light. The eye of Horus comes to the four corners of the world. To everyone who is tuning in now and in the future. This eye of Horus comes and all of us are purified with it. Receive the light. Receive the light. We welcome you, Amahas, that you may protect all of those that are dealing with storms of winter, storms of the tropics, if they might be in that area. May you protect them as you protect the Lord of all. And Sekhmet, may you bring healing to those who are sick. Love and protection to those who call your name. You arise in the Akhet as Capri, O Ra, spreading your light upon the earth. You set in peace in the mountains of Manu as a tomb, bringing your light to Duat. Shine upon earth as you do in heaven and Duat. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who came from Nun at the first time, for such is your uniqueness. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who placed who? at your left side, for such are the words you commanded. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who placed Sia at your left side, for such is your great wisdom. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, whose hiccup goes before you, for such is your ability. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, who rules with Ma'at upon your brow, for such is your righteousness. Hail and praise unto you, O Ra, Hail and praise unto you, O Neat, mistress of Sais, and to you, Anapu, lord of the sacred booth. Hail and praise unto you, O Yunachuru, you lords of love and lords of life. Grant us life, well-being, and health. May our eyes perceive your goodness and our hearts receive your wisdom. May you shine upon us as you traverse the sky, that we may bring to you Ma'at and cast out as fet. And may you guard us from the evil one through the dark hours of the night, your protection being before us and your strength being within us. Take these, your cool waters, which are the inundation, that they may cool, you, cool your hearts. Oyunashiru, these waters are the eye of Horus, that your hearts may be refreshed. Milk, milk, may you taste it in your shrine. May your hearts be refreshed with it. We bring you this milk from the great flood, Oyunashiru, that you may be purified with it. We give you incense, we give you incense, great of purity. This incense is the eye of Horus, and its fragrance comes to you, it cleanses you, it adorns you, it takes its place upon your hands. This incense is the eye of Horus, O Yenichiru, and its fragrance comes to you. Take this your bread on which gods live. 
The spread is the eye of horror, so you know what you do. Lift it to your faces and be at peace with it. Gardens prosper and happy rejoices, overflowing with his meal. We fill the eye of Horus for you with wine, O Ra, O Yenichiru. Drink and be pure. The doors of heaven and the doors of earth are open with libations for you within this house. May your faces be refreshed with your libations, your wine, and your water. Pure. Pure is Ra Horaketi within his house. Pure. Pure is Neat, mistress of Sais, within her house. Anapu, upon his mountain, within his house. Pure. Pure are the cause of all of these gods with this good murder that is given. Jehuti proclaims it. It is written in his house of sacred words. Hapi gives in abundance thousands of offerings, all things good and pure, for Rahoraketi, for Neet, for Anipu, in every place that their immortal cause dwell. Come to your body, O Rahoraketi. Come to your body, O Neet. Come to your body, O Anipu. Come to your bodies, O Yunichiru, and come to your invocation. Come unto us, your servants, who are mindful of your feasts and your offerings. Bring your power, your hika, your honor, and your ba to these your offerings, and partake of them. Come, O people, raise these offerings before the faces of these gods. Lift the offerings before Ra, before Nit, before Anipu. All life comes from them. All health comes from them. All stability comes from them. All good fortune comes from them as it has since the first time. O Rahorketi. And your son, the Osir Nisu Nebkeperu Ra, your foes retreat from you. Horus turns himself to his eye. Turn yourselves to these, your offerings, and receive them from our hands. From the table of the gods to the table of the blessed dead. We light this candle that it may be the eye of Horus that lights their way in Duat. And we pour for them these cool waters from the table of Osiris that their hearts may be refreshed. Porekeru, Tahen Ket, Ka Kao, Abdu, Senator Murhat, Kutnibet, Nofra Wabet, Alkhet Nacherim, and Kao and Aku Punibu, Makeru Nibu, Hiran Nachera. Voice offering, bread and beer, a thousand of beef and fowl, incense, oils, and all good and pure things on which a god lives, for the cause of all of these Aku, all true of voice. Before the great God. Okay. 
And now we come unto you, O Ra, who meet. As Jyoti comes, our hands joined under Ma'at. Ma'at has come to be with you in every place where you are. An offering of Ma'at is made unto you, that your heart may be pleased and your cause shall live. Truly, your need has Ma'at, for they know you live in her. The Aeneid says unto you, your word is law eternally. His fed is cast up by your word. Rejoicing is yours every day. Ma'at has taken her place in your shrine. And may we always act with gentility and compassion, for such is the first Ma'at. May we always offer charity and hospitality, for such is the second Ma'at. May, may we always respect consent and fidelity, for such is the third Ma'at. May we always avoid violence and promote wellness, for such is the fourth Ma'at. May we always speak words of truth, for such is the fifth Ma'at. May we always promote the public good, for such is the sixth Ma'at. May we always act humbly and with temperance, for such is the seventh Ma'at. May we always honor our gods and respect others, for such is the eighth Ma'at. May we uphold Ma'at like Jehuti, that we may witness Ra's perfection every day. First, I will read a couple of things for Neat. It has her going forth. All right, I have some here. Okay, I'm just a little further back. All right, now there's right here. Huh. Oh, this is annoying. I can't. There we are. I was going to say, is patience one of them as well? Is patience one of what? Yes. The virtues of what? Yes. Probably so. And but... I was just going to say, be patient with yourself. You deserve it. All right. Well, <laughs> yeah, there's there's lots and lots of notes that I have in, in this little book here. And this was actually given to me at uh, the, the last Pagan Pride that I went to. They, they were very sweet there. And and it was so funny. We brought Morgan to that one, and uh, uh, I, I I loved later when when I asked him. So you know, what did you think about this? You know, uh, because you know, having never gone to something like that before, <laughs> some him answering honestly some of the things that he was kind of wondering in the back of his mind, like like okay, how weird is this going to get? You know, <laughs> and then you know, no, we're not that weird. Yeah. Although I really did want to try and have him wondering at one point if he was going to be the, the sacrificial virgin. That, that would have been really funny. Yeah. <sighs> Hail unto you, O Neat the Great, Mistress of Sace in your going forth, Lady of Life who opens the ways, Eye of Ra which has no equal. You go forth from your house in the four hours of the night in the month of Rechmejes, to perform your secret rites. For yours is the power to clear all paths. Yours is the power to move all obstacles. Yours is the power to destroy the evil one. Mistress of the East, Mistress of the West, Mistress of the North, Mistress of the South, heaven and earth are under your command. Holy Mother who gives all life, protect us, O Neat as you protect your son, Ra. Oh, what's really cool is I, this is, this is handwritten here in, in my grimoire, if you will. Um, written in honor of Neats going forth on uh, January 21st of last year. So it's kind of cool and I can actually find things like that written down. Uh, we ask Neat 
you know, the mother of mothers to uh, bless Kit Fox, who so dearly wishes to become a mother and to grant healing and long life to all the, the mothers and grandmothers in our lives. Um, and Jory has an auntie that he loves very much and she's recovering from surgery and wants her to continue to get better. And uh, for pets, you know, for all of our loved ones. And for those that are feeling tired and suffering from seasonal affective disorder um, or just... Is it is it proper to call it you know disorder or is it just well seasonal affective disorder is a diagnosis yes but but uh, it it but basically you know it's it's winter some of us have the blues and we and some ask, of us have been busy like you know what yeah so we ask for uh, a little light to shine on us and for us to find strength to get through to spring. And some love, too. Yeah. And hail and praise unto you, O Anapu, great god upon your mountain, master of secrets in Duat, ruler of the West, fair son of Osiris, great physician who heals. Your seal is our protection. Crown prince of the Aeneid, keen-faced among the gods, you stand at Osir's side. You serve the blessed dead. They live because of you. Yes, a great physician who heals. Keep keep looking after folks like you know, Joy's Joy's aunt, my grandmother. My mom. Yes, your mom. And I'm gonna Come check over here. Okay. Anubis, my mom's a dog person. Yeah. <laughs> she really is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, Sarani, yes. I'd like some prayers for healing. I just had a tooth extraction recently. <sighs> prayers to Sir Ket and I said I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to the anesthetic and having side effects. Oh, my, my sympathies. Been yeah. there, done that. Yeah. Okay, and uh, some, some music discussion here, but uh, um, the theme this week is uh, National Bagel Day, and this is a... Uh, I'm, I'm just kind of trying to make, make a... a Okay, yeah, it's like, all right, uh, because somebody's like, you know, it's. Oh, and oh, Laughing Pharaoh recently got a large and heavy uh, stone bast statue. I wonder if it looks anything like the one that our friend uh, uh, Brian has. Because uh, we have a friend who went to Egypt and he got a, a bast statue. And this thing, she, she's actually next to his fireplace and she's like, you know, that big. And it's like, hey, if you ever want to. Clear some space. I, I got the perfect spot for that bath bast statue. Yeah. But uh your kitty kitty kitty. But uh, oh solemn son, my prayers are heavy today. Mother's health is declining. She went home on oxygen that needs healing and care more than ever. Oh man, yes. I know where you have been. I know where you have been. Yeah. Prayers and love you got. Don't yeah. worry. Prayers that I can get her the help she needs, that I can be everything she needs, that she and I find healing and strength where we can. Um, you know, if you need help, like finding some uh, attendant care for her and some, or something like that, um, get a hold of us because. Uh, um, yeah, I'm a whiz with that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, we can we can help you with, yeah. with that. I know. would be happy to help. Yeah. Okay, and uh, oh, Kayleen, who is in uh, Australia, but uh, is it Australia or New Zealand? Um, but uh, has prayers for my, my partner's Uncle Joe, who's uh, in the UK, and uh, a wife of 55 years passed last night. Oh, my. Oh, goodness, yeah. Man. Yeah. 
all the love and tenderness we can muster mm -hmm. to be fortunate enough to be some, with somebody for 55 years. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, actually my, my grandparents uh, were together for 60 because they were married in 1950 and he passed in nineteen in, in 2016. So they were for 50, 56 years. 56 years, yeah. Yeah. Now 60. No, 66, excuse me. 66 years. Wow. Yeah. Now, meanwhile, uh, Rebecca, yeah, you, you guys came back a uh, uh, safe trip from, from northern Minnesota. Okay, and, and uh, uh, Alex said, pray that my SSI and SNAP benefits will be accepted. If you have any trouble with that, also talk to Darren. He can help with that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh goodness, and laughing pharaohs. Watch over my grandmother who has dementia. She's in a hospital bed, lives with us. She has some pressure sores and is refusing to eat. Um, okay, and, and uh, Psalm Son wants to know how to reach us. Um, okay, uh, are you... Are you on... on are, are you are you on uh, uh, Facebook uh, Messenger? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I I know there are folks that have sent me message requests that you know are probably months old by now that I need to go back and look for. But if you have if if you haven't, just send me a request on Facebook Messenger, and and just say, hey, it's Solemn Sun. I'll go and look for it, and we'll, we'll yeah we'll connect with you. And no, we're not going to broadcast and, all of that live on camera. Right, but. Uh, Okay, uh, Miss Jackal, I believe she wants to tell you she wants a, a cookie for. Her. Okay, so Mrs. Jackal is going to get be the first one to get a, a cookie. And reading of the the Jackal's blade, uh, having a hard time with a family member right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, then we will definitely do that. Okay, and and uh, Kayleen is in Australia, and we we just lost uh, uh, okay David Crosby. Uh, from Crosby, Crosby, Crosby Stills, Stills, Nash, Nash and Young. Young. Oh, yes. okay. Uh, so I guess, does that mean that uh, uh, Keith Richards experienced the quickening again? He has experienced the quickening a lot This because we've lost we've lost him. We've lost Jeff Beck. We've lost... Uh, Christine McVie from Fleetwood Mac. Well, that, that, that was, was earlier. Year. That, that was, was last, last year. year yeah, He's recovered from that one. But, you know, we've lost Lisa Marie Presley. As well, you know, I mean, for a little bit of context, uh, in 2016, when we lost a lot of folks, there was a joke going around that every time a musician dies, Keith Richards experiences the quickening. And for those of you who don't know who Keith Richards is, mm -hmm. he's the lead guitarist for the Rolling Stones. They're not seeing. And if musicians. you don't know what a quickening is, yeah, that's that's oh a high. Yeah. Well, that, and, that's a Highlander joke. And but. if um. And but if it, you don't know who the Rolling Stones are, you really need a rock and roll education desperately. But the Rolling Stones are not senior citizens. They're the undead. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. And Alex is saying, present my uh, significant other finds a job that he loves and good money attached to it. Having a tough time finding, finding a job this to time of year. We've um, been there, too. Yeah. So... Uh, Perseverance, patience mm -hmm. with one another. Yeah. And persistence, persistent, doggy like persistence. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, okay. So, what we're going to do is, you know, of course, prayers, you know, again, for all the folks that are, that are, uh, uh, having a tough time right now. And, uh, you know, the, those of us that are here in the physical plane, we, we'll, we'll, you know, help as much as we can. But for everyone that uh, needs that extra little bit of spirit, that that bit of uh, energy and determination, where you know you, you don't know where it's going to come from, we ask the, the gods to be that that strength and that that inspiration. You know, uh, just when we think we're we're tapped out. You know, may may we find renewed strength with them. And so on that note, Mrs. Jackal is going to get the first cookie. Uh, then I'm going to pull one for everyone. And then we'll go down the list with, uh, because I, I say, okay, Kit Fox. And then, you know, the other ones as, as they come up. So.
Yes, and, and I will will check with Facebook Messenger afterwards, and uh, uh, yeah, just try and get in touch with me. And you know, if anybody needs help with with things, if it has to do with disability or you know, getting uh, attendant care for somebody, that's something that, that that's my expertise. Yes, Darren has worked along, in that for years, uh, along with mental health. I mean, yes. Yeah, so so uh, we we can do our best to do the God's work and give you a little bit of practical advice. I not only play an advocate on TV, I are one. <laughs> do lots of things. I, I have to talk this guy up. I mean, he was on the PlayStation Network playing a game with somebody and ended up, him and another guy, they, they managed to, to call uh, uh, first responders to because one of the friends on their game had OD'd on the, on, on the, the, the headset. Yeah, we ended up saving his life. Thank yeah. God. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, you're supposed to be, you know, relaxing and, and you know, Letting go of the world playing video games, but poor Darren, he's he's working on that sort of thing all the time. Yeah, but he he does he does the God's work. So. Okay, this one is for wow. Oh wait, okay. Okay, you just got half the bag. Yeah, I said there were two oh, of them. Okay. There were there were two of them that came out. This was from Mrs. Jackal. Yeah, and and uh, she had also requested that we read uh the the point for Anubis. So. First, let's pull the cookies. So, uh, Can we, should we call them dog biscuits at this point? No. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, what? Somebody was licking me. You felt like you were getting lick, licked in the ear, huh? I was, yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And his nose is cold. <laughs> and I can hear that tail just... You know. <laughs> Wagging and hitting something. Okay, now um, this is I'm, I'm gonna put these two together because I know y'all are going to be relaying that to to Mrs. Jackal. So the first one, first they ignore you, then they attack you, then you win. Second one. No act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Wow. Wow. So this is for Mrs. Jackal. So 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 you guys uh uh pass this on. First they ignore you, then they attack you, then you win. Yes, because when they've got nothing left to do but attack, your point is proven. Yes, no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. Yeah. So yeah, if if she's dealing with some people right now, um, Anubis is telling you to uh, stick to what you know is right. Keep being the the better person because you're gonna win. Yep. And so with with that being said, by request, I will read this poem and then we're gonna resume with the cookie. So so y'all hang tight and I see we got uh, another super thanks. Uh, 9-11. Thank you so much, it's guys. A, it's kind of a cookie. So, yeah. Um, starting with Kit Fox and then uh, the between Kit Fox and then 9-11, that's kind of bracketing it. So, uh, for all of you who are struggling and might be having a tough time right now, this, this poem is for Anubis, but it's for all of you. With quiet patience, he works the scale. Jackal's ears and Jackal's face, human hands and God's soul. He weighs each person's heart with care against the sacred feather of truth, listens to their testimony, words of lives now in past tense. Mild-mannered, he kneels to Osiris. The Jackal's job is to serve, not to fight. Other gods take up that task, to defend Ra's creation with sharp blades and fierce eyes. But this keen jackal's ears prick up. He hears distant cries of anguish, of pain, and behind each of them a terrible whisper, unspeakable lies from the unspeakable one, twisted distortions of sacred truth, a million shattered shards in the form of tortured thoughts of worthlessness and doubt, of sadness and self-hate, depression, destruction, and longing for death. But Anubis, that great jackal at the scales, Know those words for what they are. They are the lies of the enemy of all Ra has made, subtle temptations beckoning to oblivion. 
as he stands at the balance of truth, the gateway between life and death, precarious fulcrum between hope and despair, Anubis resolves to answer, to defend those crying for help, to protect creation itself beating within countless anguished hearts. The jackal draws his blade. With eyes of truth, he stares down the evil one, serpent tempter of souls, seeking only their ruin. The jackal draws his blade and lunges forth. Does the sword of Anubis find its mark? Does the jackal strike down the snake? For every person who stays their own hands, puts down the bottle, the pills, the gun, Anubis, Anubis's stroke is true. Our every choice fulfills his task. His success is up to you. I need to have a copy of that on hand for uh, for Sunday. Yeah. And and by the way, I know some folks asked for me to put that uh, where we can see it. Um, uh, I posted it. Uh, it, it's it's kind of a while back in in uh, the the Patreon stuff, but I'm going to put it on the website. Uh, what I want to do is is make a page just for that, and then have like some links to uh, you know Suicide Hotline right. down at the bottom. You know, and so, there's something else I'd like to add to that. Hmm. Uh, not to to add a stanza to the poem, but one of the things that will help us avoid those whispering voices of doom mm -hmm. is to be mindful of our mental health and you know your car gets a checkup everything in the world gets a diagnostic mm -hmm. why don't you let your brain get one mm -hmm. um we all need one every now and then you know um, mm -hmm. mental health is a good thing yeah okay now to draw a cookie for everyone especially those that, that aren't able to tune in in real time and might be catching us later. Also, too. So. You know what? Huh. This is kind of significant, though. Think about it. For most folks, the holiday seasons are over. Mm -hmm. And so now we're getting the, the real world advice. For everybody after the holidays. So it's mm. like. That's the start of a new. Yeah, take a order. breath, folks. There we go. Okay, the first one. Focus on trusting your intuition and you will get through it. Which I, I think is a good one for all of us considering so much craziness going on right now. But to so add another part to this. There we go. Hold it kind of tight in there. It is better to ask some questions than to know all the answers. So now let me put these two together. And again, this is for everyone. Focus on trusting your intuition and you will get through it. It is better to ask some questions than to know all the answers. Wow. Now, now. For those of you who may not get this, hmm. this is extraordinary, extraordinarily powerful. And in order to demonstrate, I'm going to ask that you reverse that. Okay. It is better to ask some questions than to know all the answers. Focus on trusting your intuition and you will get through it. Intuition is based on what we know. Mm -hmm. Our knowledge base at the time. And how do we build a knowledge base? By We ask the questions. So, you know, when in doubt, get your questions answered and then trust your gut. Hmm. And also don't don't rush off half cocked thinking, you know, th thinking that, you know, the answer there might be you, you may have to, to readjust. Right. Do some know. digging. Give your intuition its best shot. Yeah. OK, so now we're going to go on to Kit Fox. Okay. <laughs> 
You will find great fortunes in unexpected places. Now, keep in mind, she's going through fertility. And yeah. So, hey, <laughs> you will find great fortunes in unexpected places. Right. Fortunes do not always imply money. There are many things more valuable than money. But hopefully that's going to be good news for you. Okay. Thanks, Darren. Huh? Uh, at some point, uh, Shannon would like a cookie. Okay. All right. Well, I uh, see. Uh, got a, a handful here, and then uh, uh, after after nine eleven, uh, then we'll pull one for Shannon. But I see uh, Blue Conlon, and then Bradazzle. So Blue Conlon. Blue Conlon, courtesy costs nothing. <clears throat> to read it one more time, courtesy costs nothing. And I, I just get this sense that uh, on the flip side, not having it can get expensive. <laughs> yes. yes. Courtesy costs nothing. Okay, so now for Bredazzle. Success is a journey, not a destination. So, Bredazzle, success is a journey, not a destination. And, and I know that's a very broad thing, but uh, uh, the, the sense that I'm getting is, is uh, don't think about, oh, well, you know, uh, and, and, and I, I think of this because I've been there before, thinking, well, it's all going to be great eventually when X, Y, and Z happens. Yeah. No, worry about... What makes you happy right now? You know, uh, hey. success is, is the journey. If, if, uh, if, if the means isn't uh, good for you, then, then uh, will the end be? I want to say something about that. Hmm. And I'm going to talk a little bit about myself here. Hmm. I was one of these really delusional folks that honestly thought I was going to be a millionaire by the time I was 30 years old. Hmm. You know, I was uh, back when we were young and in college. Even before I met Sharon, hmm. when I had no other aspiration than to have boatloads of money and spend it on things that would make people angry. Oh, like, um, Star oh, well, like, like your Star Wars collection? Yeah, which yeah. I'm still doing, by the way, so help me with that. <laughs> but anyway, you know, we all have this thing in our head eventually that says, I know I will be successful when I achieve X. Let me tell you something. I didn't realize I was successful for years. I look back now and go, you know, I don't make the most money in the world, but you look at my resume and my field, I am successful. I just didn't realize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, having a place that you can call home and that, that makes you happy, you know, that's that's... Yeah. And 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 I, I have to deal with that too with uh, uh like family members that think that you know oh well I could be doing so much more with my talents and that that well you know you haven't tried to do any of these things yourself so how do you know um, yeah and and it's really tough when you know you've got that little voice that's saying you know well well success equals nice car and six figures and blah 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 no um success means you can go to sleep at night and. Uh, not have, you know, a dozen storm clouds over your head, yeah. you know, um, you know, like I said, having, having a, uh, having a home that you can relax in and be happy is, yes. is, is important. So that's the, I guess that's our sermon for the night. Um, next up is uh solemn sun and then sarcastic. Well, wait a minute. Huh? Let's not forget. Shannon's going to come after nine 11. So. All right. So solemn sun. Yeah, and, uh, 
we'll try and get you get get in touch with you so we can see what we can do to help you with your mom. And your fortune says, your next email will have good news. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, may have many emails that are good news and not something to do with a foreign lottery. So, <laughs> okay, so Solemn Sun, then sarcastic. Sarcastic, there is no sorrow in the world that a hot bath wouldn't help. You need to chill out, man. Yeah, I think that they're saying you, you need to take some you time. Yep. Take some you time, some of that whole self-love stuff. Yep. There's no sorrow in the world that a hot bath wouldn't help. Yep. yep. I guess it has to be the opposite of chilling out. Well, well... Mellow, dude. Mellow. mellow. Yeah, well, yeah. Then didn't, didn't, didn't we just mellow out? Wasn't that more of like an 80s thing to say? No, no. mellow out was more like 70s. But... Okay. <laughs> we mellowed in the 70s. We okay. chilled in the 80s. Okay, so you're saying... Uh... Okay, and they say, but kept away. Um, in late, miss most of it because it works stuff, though. We love you anyway. Okay, uh... All right, so Solemn Sun, uh, let me. Solemn Sun, are you, are you on the Discord? Uh, because I'm also on there, and you can send me a private message from there as well. And and let me uh yep. let me pull up the Discord, and I'll give you an uh an invitation. Yep. Um. And that way, uh. Okay, so Solomon, uh, uh, find me on Discord. Um, yeah. And my, my username on Discord is Miss Tatami. And everyone knows that now. Yeah. Well, but, but that's okay. Well, I mean, you know, that's that's how you find out it's me. And, and in case you're wondering, Miss, Miss Tatami, this, that's her. So, you know, she, she's kind of my... My Discord uh, persona. So, if you're wondering, you know, what's what's the story with that? That's that's my character. So, so uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And and you know what? Another thing is, uh, at some point, I need to do another shrine video. So, uh, uh, that would that's a great place to look at pictures and, and if, if you have a shrine picture that you want to you know contribute for another video you know uh, let, let me know about that um okay yeah okay oh and alex you made uh, uh original characters for star wars darren would probably get that. yeah yeah so okay yeah well, and, and thank thank you guys, you know, because uh, Sarcastic saying, the, you know, the work you're doing means a lot to us. Starting out and finding a community would be really hard without the work you do. Yeah, and, and I did it because I've, I've long ago, I, I thought, you know, uh, uh, a certain other group, you know, is it's the only game in town, and that's that's no fun. So, you know. that's, the problem is, hmm. you know, not everybody can find everything in one place. Yeah. Uh, I guess the whole thing about be the change you wish to see. Yeah. Okay, so Alex, uh, one for me and one for my significant other. And uh, then mm -hmm. the laughing pharaoh. Um, so uh, Alex and the laughing pharaoh. And uh, Alex, one one for self and significant other. Funny oh. thing. Two of them came out. So... All right, I think this first one here is yours. Uh, 
frequent conversations will fill your heart with joy. Yes, if, if you and your significant other find yourself like talking about just the weirdest things at any time, that's that's good because Darren and I tend to do that. So, so now the second one. You will soon achieve perfection. Now I'm going to put these two together. Frequent conversations will fill your heart with joy. You will soon achieve perfection. The, the sense that I get is, is you, you and your partner just uh, keep talking, keep doing, keep being together. You'll, you'll help each other find solutions to the things that you need. Yeah, and if there's one thing I can say... Um, the best things that are going to help you and your partner grow are not other people. It's each other. Mm -hmm. My best friend in the world is the lady who's running the show right now. <laughs> Love you too. Okay. Uh, and then Laughing Pharaoh and then Serana. Can't exactly do a golem voice, but so uh, I know what you're talking about. Morning cookie. So. But there are no hobbits around here. Hope is the best stimulant of life. So laughing Pharaoh. Hope is the best stimulant of life. And I know you said you were having kind of a tough time. Hang in there. Yeah. Um, find find some things that bring you joy, and that that'll help pick everything else back up. That's I'm, I I can appreciate that because I'm in a, kind of a similar headspace. So, but but that's why you know I always look forward to well, service on Fridays. If there's one thing I've learned. Joy is not something you wait to find you. You actively seek it. Yeah. Okay, so Serana and then 9-11. Serana. Here we go. In order to take, one must first give. So, Serana, in order to take, one must first give. I, I get the feeling that the, the next thing we said is let, let, let somebody make the first move. Um, <sighs> I don't know if that's going to make sense or not, or not but uh, in order to take, one must first give. So then 9-11, and then we go to Shannon. Okay, that's kind of folded up in there. All right, 9-11. Nothing astonishes people so much as common sense and plain dealing. Because common sense isn't common, is it? Well, well, that and, and plain dealing. Um, nothing astonishes people so much as common sense and plain dealing. Be don't don't try to be um, ironic and and uh, backhanded or whatever. Be be straight. Um, be straight with people that will uh that, that will bowl them over more than right face, than, face value is never seen yeah and people don't expect it anymore it's, no. it's kind of like uh when i i had a, a whole bunch of aunts that that were convinced i was going to visit my grandmother uh just because you know they they thought i wanted some of her money and you know could not fathom the idea that well i just felt sorry for my grandmother and felt maybe she needed someone to visit her right you know that's if people are, are so used to expecting something underhanded, they're going to be 
astonished by common sense and plain dealing. So, so use that to your advantage. 9-11, you know, nothing astonishes people so much as common sense and plain dealing. No, it's time for Shannon. Yeah. So Shannon's turn. And I'll see if there's any more down there. I have to scroll down on the comments. Okay, for Shannon, pessimism never won any battle. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. You are welcome. Pessimism never won any battle. Yep, they've been they've been looking at you. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so Solomon, you're on the Discord now. Yeah. Just, just uh, uh, send me a message on Discord and. Uh, um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Don't forget. Uh, Ori's pr uh, has a prayer for a job. Okay. Um. Well, you know what? Uh, for all those who are looking for uh, prosperity this new year, um, my go-to is Osiris because he's the lord of uh, uh, agriculture, vegetation, you know, green, cabbage. You know, that's, that's kind of his bag. So um, Osiris, uh, foremost of the West, uh, who in, in Sais is uh, looked upon as the son of Neat as well. Uh, we ask you to bless Ori and uh, Alex and, and their partner and, and everyone who's looking to make a fresh and better start for 2023 and uh, guide them to greener pastures where they can find blessings to build up their own lives and continue to touch those around them. So in your most holy name, we ask you your blessing. Okay. And if anybody else has got any other requests, just let me know and then we can wrap things up. And uh, I will be doing a table for World Religion Day in our local area on Sunday. And uh, that, that should be interesting. One, one of the things that I, I like to do, and this year I'll, I'll have a, a, a small TV and be able to, to run videos like uh, uh, Triumph of Horus and like the, the Opet Festival video and some of our older shrine videos. And uh, hopefully I won't get... I don't mind if people have weird questions as long as they're not pretentious about it. Because I swear, before the, the phrase, okay, boomer, became a thing, I actually had somebody come up to my table one year and, and you know, I swear I had an okay, boomer moment with them. Because they, they, there was somebody trying to explain to me stuff about the solstices and all this, that, and the other. And it's like, dude, we, we, don't, we don't do that. You, you want to talk to the other table? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Oh. Yeah, somebody said, oh gosh, oh look, yeah. Uh okay, so you wanted her back. Okay. She jumped over here. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's always kind of annoying for us. It's like, no, 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 no. The boomers were our parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, well no, no, the, the reason why I say this, because this is somebody who was old enough to be uh, like like one of our parents. And, and see, the thing is, to me, uh, what I've noticed is that a lot of folks who are that age, um, they're more familiar with things like Hare Krishna, you know, and stuff like that. You know, they might have gone on the hippie trail. And, and so uh, they, uh, th there were other things that were popular and were, were current, you know, like the, the age of Aquarius, you know, and all that back then. And, and so that's how they think 
you know, or, or like the Rosicrucian, you know, stuff. And so they come to my table and they automatically make assumptions that we as comedics are just like that. And it's like, no, 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 no. Um, for, forget, you know, 70 is age of Aquarius stuff. That's, that's not exactly what we do around here, but you know, uh, that, that's one of the things I may, I may, depending on which panel they put me on, I might get to talk a little bit more about that. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing icons and, uh, okay. No, okay. No cookies. All right. There's lots of cookie crumbs. Hail unto you, Atum. Hail unto you, Capri. You come into being upon the primeval hill. You shine forth upon the shrine of the phoenix in you new. You breathe out Shu and Tefnut. May the giving of these offerings endure, as the name of a tomb, foremost of the great Enid, endures. May they endure, as the name of Shu, Lord of Upper Menset, in you new, endures. As the name of Tefnut, Mistress of Lower Menset, in you new, endures. As the name of Geb at the Earth's Ba endures. As the name of Newt in the Shrine of Shinit in Yunu endures. As the name of Osir Kentiamintiu endures. As the name of Aset in Necheru endures. As the name of Sutef in Nubet endures. As the name of Horus in Pei endures. As the name of Wajit in Dep endures. As the name of Jehuti in Kemenu endures. As the name of Ra in the Akhet endures. Likewise, for eternity. You have come in peace, O Ra. You have come in peace, O Neet the Great. O Anapu. You have come in peace, O Yunichiru. May you go forth in peace, O Ra. May you go forth in peace, O Neet, O Anapu, O Yunichiru, to every place your immortal cause wish to be. May you sail in joy in the Manjet bark and rest content in the Sektet bark. And may you smile upon us, your humble servants. All right. Yeah, as, as, uh, it's sarcastic as pointing out. It wasn't too long ago when Waco was basically the only pagan path, you know, around. So, uh, you know, easy to mistake. And it's, yeah, um, you know, uh, yeah, and, and, and Rebecca's saying, I get sick of you know, being assumed that stuff like Western astrology and chrome goddesses are relevant to my religion. Yeah, you know, um, yeah, but, uh, uh, and, and, and yeah, that's that's the kind of thing that, that you know, uh, basically uh, to try and put it in, in something simple for, you know, the average person, um, just because you've talked to one group or you've read one book does not mean that you know about all of them. So uh, what, what that fortune was saying about, you know, uh, uh, ask questions, it's better to ask a few questions than think you know everything. That, that's That's good advice for life. And that's what I'd want to tell everyone. But uh, thank you, guys. Yes, Alex, uh, you're welcome. Uh, see you next time. You guys try to have a good week and be safe and well. Uh, and, oh, what was that? Um, hang on, because uh, Daro, I think Daro was uh, thank you um, in the uh, Australian Arab Aboriginal language. So, uh, Daryl to, to Kayleen, and, and uh, thank you to everyone. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, and sarcastic saying, nothing wrong with Wicca, but I've been telling my mom a comedic pagan for three years now. She still goes around telling people I'm Wiccan. Yeah, <laughs> that's because it's, it's like the only thing they can think of, you know, but, uh, but yeah, we, we, could have, we could have a great conversation about that at some point. Um, love you guys, and y'all have a good weekend.